Yo, what is up you guys? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Alright, so as you guys can tell, we're about to take the wheel off. And you guys are probably wondering, why are we about to take the wheel off? Well, that's because these uh, brake calipers need to be repainted. So I actually scuffed them up a little bit with some 80 grit. And then I just painted them with some black paint. But we no longer want black paint because we want this thing to... Uh, stand out so i know you can barely see it through the spokes of the wheel but we're gonna make it stand out and it's gonna look phenomenal and frankly it's gonna look it's gonna be the best brake calipers you ever seen in your entire life all right my donald trump impersonation is uh very terrible but um damn right until the wheels fall off that mug all right so i'm just gonna clean them up really quick I should actually uh, take a wire brush to it, but it's all good because we got something. All right, so before we get into the video, I just want to point out a few things. Uh, the reason why I absolutely want to keep this truck is because, well, for one, whoever had this truck before, they put anti seize right here on the hub, whatever the heck you want to call that thing, and on the studs. So that way the uh, wheel and the lug nuts don't get frozen on top, which is really good. Another thing is, the upper control arms so if the upper ball joint and the control arm needs to be replaced only thing i had to do is just unbolt it because somebody has already been through here um, i don't know if they replaced the ball joint and the upper control arm or just the ball joint but it's bolts it's no longer rivets the obs chevy guys will know that that is a major pain when you have to replace the freaking upper ball joint because you have to drill out the rivets and it's just retarded. I don't know why Chevy decided that they wasn't gonna do that. It's not gonna take us very long to sand it down to like bare metal because I got one of these suckers right here. Now, then again, it might take a really long time because the battery has not been fully charged because I accidentally left it in my truck overnight. Come on, man. I'm getting ready to film, bro. All right, so let's go ahead and get started because this dude's being loud. I don't know what grit this is right here but it seems how this battery is just so terrible like it it literally has enough charge to do an entire brake caliper and that's it um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hit it up with 80 grit all right you guys I know you're supposed to clean these with brake parts cleaner but I don't have none so I just got some baby wipes I also plan on cleaning up all this right here like all this rust that you see um, this right here has been sanded down to bare metal and then painted, but it hasn't been primered and then painted So I'm probably going to redo that just because I want this truck to be perfect All right, you guys, so it seems how I only have one bag what I'm going to do is go ahead and primer the back side I'm going to move this bag around to the front and then primer that Dude, literally hire Spanish people whenever you want something done because this guy right here walking is literally a workaholic. Like he just, he kept getting yelled at to hurry up because he just wanted to keep working. He wanted to make sure that this place was nice and cleaned up. 
and people honked at him like four or five times like come on man hurry up let's go I'm like no dude like he's a he's an artist he's a professional you cannot rush perfection so the paint that i chose for this is um it's kind of expensive but not like really that expensive okay you guys have seen the color of it <laughs> yeah we're going with a uh, chrome because i love chrome and it just looks good and um you know easy mother e with the chrome to your dome baby so the only bad thing about this is it likes to spray everywhere like i don't want a rotor it's fine i don't know why people complain about that so much like this, if this was a customer's car i would definitely make sure that there's no way that any paint would get on the rotor or anything like that but because i know that the paint will come off when the brake pad is applied it's fine a lot of people will say oh dude it's going to gum up and blah, blah 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 that's only if you paint your brake rotor like all the way around and like put like multiple multiple coats on it like that's the only way that it's going to gum up and cause your brakes to not work if it's just a little tiny bit like that dude it's fine i mean do it at your own risk but you know also don't be a crybaby about it And for everybody out there saying, oh, do you need to put a few coats on at a time? You can't just keep spraying like that. I know what I'm doing. I have been doing this for years. It's literally the easiest thing to spray paint something and not get any runs or anything like that because I know what I'm doing. Like you don't spray heavy. You just mist it on everywhere and you don't have to wait time in between to let it dry. You can if you want to, but I know how to do it. I'm professional. Okay, so now that we got the back half painted up. All right, y'all, and that right there is how you do it. So that's how you sand down your uh, brake caliper, prime it, and then paint it. Make it look fantastic. Make sure you tape all this up. You don't have to, but it's good that you do, just so that way you don't have any crybaby Karens running their mouth saying, oh, they not doing it right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, lady, or sir, ma'am. Also, it is very important that you tape up your uh, bleeder valve just because that right there will get gummed up. A lot of paint will come down in there, clog it up, and then next time you go to do your brakes, nothing's coming out. Don't forget to give the video a big old fat hairy thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. So I decided, it seems like I already painted my brake caliper, that I would go ahead and clean out my wheel with some 80 grit sandpaper. And I flipped it over to knock all the dust down and a, I'm assuming what looks like a Black Widow ran out. It, it looked like a Black Widow. Um, <laughs> so there's like tons of eggs everywhere and grass and dirt and spider webs because previous owner just let this truck sit for like two years. So yeah, a bunch of little baby, little tiny looking Black Widow spiders just started running everywhere might be the next spider-man if uh, i get bit so <sighs> not working dude <laughs> give it time dude i'm telling you man i'll be swinging from webs pretty soon if you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want you to share this video. Jesus said, go preach the gospel to all creation. Souls are going to go to hell if we don't spread the gospel. You sharing this video can literally get the gospel to somebody and save their soul from eternal damnation. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. So right now I offer to you the free gift of salvation. Believe in your heart and pray this prayer out loud right now with me if you want salvation. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died for me 
on the cross and rose from the dead three days later. If you prayed that prayer, comment, save, use this sound, make your own video, make the gospel go viral.